Don Kay, the chairman of the Montana Republican Party. This past Saturday night, he was there on the stage with Donald Trump Jr., uh, now getting ready to head home from Bozeman. You were there for the, I, it had to be pretty pretty electric there in uh, Gallatin County last night uh, for both Senator Steve Daines' re-election and Greg Gianforte being elected governor. Don Kay, good to hear from you. Yeah, good to be here this morning, Aaron. Obviously, we're very, very excited. Um, it was a great time at Bozeman. I definitely wanted to be with uh, with Greg and, and, um, uh, and, and Steve and also, you know, uh, Matt, all three, Matt, my top tier guys are the ones that recruited me to do the job. I wanted to be there for them. And uh, we we uh, we had a great night. You know, it's, I think uh, Speaker Hertz mentioned something about the polls. I, I kept seeing all these college polls from these liberal professors being reported by some in the liberal media saying, oh, it's looking really good for Democrats this year. And I... I, don't, I just wasn't buying it. And in fact, I, you know, I, I said over the weekend with KJJR, I was like, if the polls were bad in 2016, I don't see how they could be any better now, if not worse. It seems pretty obvious. These polls, the polling is just awful. Yeah, I think polls are a thing of the past now. You know, basically more Montanans voted in this election than any other. And I'm, I'm really proud to see that so many Montanans participated in, in our great uh, democracy. You know, it really was the turnout situation, and we turned out Republican voters. And thankfully, their votes, their votes, uh, you know, were heard, their voices were heard. And you know, as I said, Republicans had a, a great night. We swept all seven. You heard from the speaker about what we did in, in the uh, legislative races. It's a historic night, and a true testament to our great candidates and all the hard work our party uh, did to get out the vote all across Montana. So I want to thank all conservatives who voted to defend our Montana way of life and and made the last night so special for us. We just we just had a great time. You know, Steve Daines to win by 10 points. We're going to be returning him. Nobody thought he was going to win by 10 points. And again, it's turnout. I really want to throw and these are the unsung heroes, Aaron. Spencer Merwin, executive director, I believe the best executive director we've ever had in the state of Montana. Kudos to you. Um, Brooke Stroik. She was our comms director. She had message out there all the time. We've been working on this like an hour and a half, or excuse me, an hour and a half, a year and a half on this. And uh, all the comms that came out uh, with Brooke was awesome and her team. And then Sam, lastly, Sam Rubino, but certainly not least, Sam Rubino and his ground game. Our ground game was second to none. I don't think Montana's ever done what we did. And I also want to throw a special thank you out to our veteran group, that helped us this uh, election, Sam Redfern, and, and uh, you know, worked so hard in Missoula County and Flathead County, Gallatin County, and working on with vets because we, we killed it with vets as well. And I want to thank you, all you vets out there for your service. Well, and thanks for yours as well. Yeah, the, the Marine Corps, you, you probably feel like you're at the tip of the spear once again because uh, Montana – standing firm here let's just hope that it, it, we that we can bring it home for president trump here well we did it in montana but but we need to stay on top of this here at the national level because i i mean what what president trump did in miami dade florida alone tells us if he did that well in miami dade with hispanic voters i will guarantee you he's doing a lot better than what than what the mainstream media is trying to trying to make you believe right now yeah, I agree with you, Aaron. Uh, you know, as you mentioned this earlier, President Trump was a big part of that because he energized uh, everybody, and then we were able to kind of um, take advantage of that. And it just goes to show you that the Democrat Party, unfortunately, has gone so far, and this is really unfortunate for Montana and for the country, so far to the left. But that being said, as we now, Mon- you know, Montana's have said a big voice, um, big message out there. And we need to show that we can govern center right. That's where the the state is, the center right. We need to govern center right. Um, in Montana, we we basically have strong majorities all the way across. We have all the land board seats. Uh, we won every race. Yeah, uh, there's no doubt that Montana is now a red state. Well, and I'm sure you did this in the Marine Corps, but I know when I was you know alongside our great soldiers and Marines in in Ramadi, Iraq, in '05 and '06, if, it doesn't matter how long your day was, doesn't matter whether it was a good day or a bad day, the the, the moment you complete that mission, you gas up the gun trucks to be ready to go out again, and so uh, and now the real work begins. Don K, Chairman of the Montana GOP, thanks so much for joining us this morning, and congrats to you and your team. 
God bless Aaron and thank you.